Hi, Jeff here. Today's video is about plinth bases. These are what we level our cabinets on, on site. I'm going to show you how to make one of these plinth bases. And I'm going to sh also show you the quickest and easiest way to level this plinth base using plastic adjustable legs underneath to level it. Okay, to start off with, I've got my cutout components for the plinth. And this is going to vary depending on your cabinets. I like to um, just place them in position. I use a brad gun or a nail gun just to put a couple of pins in place. And it just holds it, uh, keeps it and holds it in place while I drill and screw these uh, two components together. Once I've made up my uh, supporting divisions, then it's uh, time to put on the plinth uh, rails. And it's the same procedure, just tacking it in place first. Just making sure all the edges are flush with each other. Um, you just want to get this nice and neat as possible also. And then it's the same procedure, nailing and then screwing together, uh, starting with one side at a time, and then flipping it over to do the, the other side. Well here we have our finished plinth base, uh, all screwed up together, we've got a level on top simulating that this would be uh, being installed on site. Um, you can use uh, a normal spirit level or uh, use a laser level. You would be starting in, the, uh, in this direction here, you've also got to get it level that way as well. So what the general um, consensus is, is usually using some packers. So you'll have some packers ranging from one mil, two and a half, five, ten mil, and so on. And you would be packing these underneath as you go along to get it level. And that can be a little bit fiddly. Hence why I use my method here, which is using um, plastic adjustable feet. Um, these are basically uh, cabinet levelers. You, you, actually, you can screw these up underneath your cabinet. That's another method of um, leveling your cabinets on site. Is just having these one in each corner of your cabinet and then leveling it that way. Or if you do like the plinth style like I do, um, you can put one of these cabinet levelers, one in each corner like I have done here. And it's just a simple matter of winding them up and down to get this, le this level um, really quickly. Instead of having to muck around with packers and so on, um, you know, all around the place. Um, you can you can really level this thing really quickly uh, once you do have it level and as you can see I've got divisions in this particular plinth this is only taking two cabinets and you would have um, you can make these longer or join them together just it just depends on how long and big the cupboards are in the run if it's also got uh, stone tops a lot of weight you know you actually want this to uh, be quite sturdy and strong uh, you can you can get some make up some scrap bits of um, off cuts and blocks and once this is level you've got this level you can actually uh, put this inside here even on the side on the, on the divisions and screw them in place making sure this touches your floor once it's once it's level and that way that also helps to support the weight it's not just relying on the plastic legs I always like to put these as well and then just put some angle brackets and anchor them to the floor uh, whether it be timber or concrete going through that way uh, so once you do that that procedure and you have your cabinets uh, on sitting on top uh, nice and level obviously before you do that with this method you can put your kick front which matches your uh, cabinetry you can screw that from the inside and scribe it scribe it to suit your floor screw it from the inside 
I mean, you don't have to be mucking around underneath the cabinet either to, you know, to make your kick fronts. You just do it once you've leveled this plinth. Scribe your kick fronts to suit the floor. Screw them from the inside, put your cupboards on top, and then you're ready to go. And once this is level, because this is like the foundation for you, like your house. Without a good foundation, it won't be level. So once you get this level, obviously, your cabinets are going to be sitting level as well, which is a lot easier to do than leveling your cabinets with this method, one on each side. One thing to note, if you do have smaller, narrower plinths, uh, these, these are roughly about 100-ish, or four inches um, and they fit these plastic legs quite easily underneath but if you did have narrow um, plinths instead and you, you didn't want them that wide there are um, like little metal feet that you can get which uh, work in the same method as these they wind up and down they got that little flap on the bottom there so it doesn't matter if it is a little bit on an angle um, the only difference is you you wind them in and out using a flat blade screwdriver instead of by hand so uh, same principle but these just actually get screwed on to the, uh, the the sides basically well that's my method for um, leveling plinths nice quick and easy method using wind up feet uh, I'll do another video keep an eye out for leveling these plinths using a laser level a quick and easy way so I hope you liked this um, little video. Uh, if you did, press like and hopefully I'll see you in our next video.